Hey folks, Rachel here with your Monday morning marketing mojo coming to you on a very gloomy day here in Houston, Texas. We've got some big rains going on right now, but um, I think we need them. So, um, you know, we'll make the best of it. And hey, it's always sunny here at Residence Headquarters. I've got Cooter, whoops, other side, Cooter the... <laughs> Cooter the Beagle's behind me. He hurt his paw this morning, poor thing. Of course, he was running around like a maniac, and that's how he hurt it. So, you know, you get older, you don't bounce back like you used to. So, hoping he feels better soon. Anyway, welcome to this week's Mojo. And today, I want to talk about newsjacking versus evergreen content and which is better for building traffic and engagement. So, first of all, let me tell you what I'm talking about. When we talk about newsjacking, let me give you an example. A few weeks ago, I put out a podcast episode called something like What We Can All Learn from United Airlines Fiasco. And this has to do with that big um, news item a few weeks ago where a United Airlines customer was physically dragged off the plane because he wouldn't give up his seat. Huge PR disaster. Their stock cratered. I'm sure you heard about it. So that's an example of what we call newsjacking. And that is latching on to a topic that is already in the public mindset. People are thinking about it. They are talking about it. There are lots of conversations going on. Contrast that to a different podcast episode that also came out a few weeks ago. And this was about how to build referrals through content marketing. Now, this is an example of what we call evergreen content. This is something that people are going to be interested in no matter what is going on in the news, no matter what current events they're talking about around the water cooler. Everybody is always interested in getting, or everybody in my audience, I should say, is always interested in getting more referrals from their content marketing. That's the difference between newsjacking and evergreen content. So the next question, obviously, which one is going to be better for my brand? Which one is going to get more traffic and which approach is going to get more engagement? Well, I'm here to tell you there is no simple answer, but it's not that difficult. When you create newsjacking content, remember, you're tapping into a topic that is already buzzworthy, that people are already talking about. So when you do that, you're going to see a big spike because that topic is so popular, but as that topic fades from the public mindset, you're going to start to see a very steep drop off, and then it's going to linger around. You might get the occasional post. Uh, getting back to that podcast episode, if United Airlines had another big screw up, maybe it would get a little more of a bounce. But pretty much once that topic is over, then that's it for the amount of engagement that you're going to get. Contr contrast that with evergreen content. That is something that is not dependent on what's going on in the news and what people are talking about. So with that content, you're going to see a more steady flow of traffic. You're not going to see the big spike that you do with the news jacket, but you're also not going to see that very steep drop off. So a good content marketing program incorporates both approaches because you want the benefit of news jacking, latching onto those popular topics, also letting your audience know that you are in tune with what's going on in the world. And then we also want that evergreen content to keep that steady flow of traffic and that steady flow of engagement. So my recommendation is, as do so many different things, this comes around to the Pareto principle. I recommend 80% of your content to be evergreen and 20% you can devote to news jacking, to tapping into those popular topics. Now, caveat emptor, when you engage in news jacking, remember to do it strategically and remember to keep your audience in mind. You don't want to force any topics into your um, into your content. You don't want to say, okay, what what the 2016 Olympics has to teach us about self-storage or something just really goofy like that. Don't make any any huge leaps because your your audience is is not going to not going to go along with that. They're going to really see that you're just trying to tap into buzzworthy topics. So, newsjacking 20%, do it wisely, do it strategically, always showing respect for your audience and then have the other 80% of your content be evergreen that's going to be delivering over and over again for months and years to come. If you want to learn more about about creating irresistible content. I rec oh look at poor Cooter, poor baby boy. I hope you feel better soon. Anyway, <laughs> to learn more about creating irresistible content, grab your copy of the content.
content marketing coach everything you need to get in the game and win. You can also download a free chapter and see what experts like Joe Polizzi, Jay Baer, and Jeffrey Hazlett had to say about the book at contentmarketingcoachbook.com. So log on today, grab your free chapter, and I wish you a wonderful week. I hope Cooter gets you feeling better, and we will see you again next Monday. Take care.